It's Cavino and Rich for now and ever with our good pal, boxing expert, Bernardo Osuna. Hey. hey, what's up, gentlemen? Uh, I hope you guys had a happy Easter, Passover, whatever you celebrate. It was a good time to be with the family, and it's great to be with you guys here on Now or Never. Thank you, man. We got to talk Floyd Mayweather. He's in the news. You know, recently inspired by the sudden death of his uncle and former trainer Roger Mayweather, and now vows to be a trainer himself and promises to be the best. Do you think this is possible and a good move for him, man? You know what? Watching him train uh, his son, Karan, and his nephew, Chris, did you notice that there was none of this choreographed pity pad stuff? I mean, it was legitimate boxing teaching. So I like where he's headed. I like where his mind is because he was teaching them to move their feet, how to throw the jab. It wasn't just stand there and throw these crazy, you know, 50 punch combinations that you never see in a real fight. So if he really wants to become a trainer, I think he's a, he's taking the right steps. He didn't take on Tank Davis, who he's already got as part of his stable. He's taken on fighters from the beginning. The only worrisome part uh, for me early on is that they're a little bit older to start off in boxing. You know, Floyd Mayweather started off when he was six years old. Most fighters start seven, eight years old. It's those instincts that you can't just teach in the gym that you develop over those amateur fights. You know, it's rare to find a fighter who hasn't had an extensive amateur career that can go on and become a star. But, you know, with Floyd Mayweather in your corner, anything is possible. No, uh, Bernie, you go back in time in other sports, Sometimes being a great player doesn't mean you were a great manager or coach. Has it translated in boxing differently when you look back? You know what? I was looking at a, a, a at that question precisely, and, and I, I was going back, and most of the great trainers were, you know, B or C level fighters, you know, because they always say, you know, those who can't do teach, you know, and, and I think that's what we see with, with a lot of these great trainers. You know, you see a Freddie Roach, who was a warrior in the ring, but he wasn't great. You know, Robert Garcia, who's now one of the hottest trainers around, he was a world champion, but he really wasn't even the best fighter in his gym. That was Fernando Vargas back in the day. Both were trained by Eduardo Vargas. I mean, Eduardo Garcia, Big G, who, who's the father of Mikey Garcia and, and that whole Garcia clan. Um, you know, there's John David Jackson, who's become a, a really good trainer. There's Buddy McGirt who's become a really good trainer. You know, Floyd Mayweather Sr., Roger Mayweather, but none of them were the star that uh, Floyd Mayweather is. And, and the other thing too, like, I know like Julio Cesar Chavez, who I, I've done shows with uh, over the years and, and who's a, a big idol of mine. When he would mentor fighters, the big issue is when you tell them, hey, do this, and then they get frustrated because they don't understand that these guys like Mayweather, Chavez, Pacquiao, I mean, these guys are gifted. They, they have God-gifted talent and they just, it doesn't, it's inconceivable to them when they say, hey, do this, that other guys can't do it. But they don't right. take into account that they're special. Well, don't you think that he needs to make a decision though? Because Mayweather, what, he's 43 now, he's retired, he's not retired. He's still dabbling in the world of boxing. We don't know where he stands. There's no question he could be great at this, but he has to commit, no? Yeah, I mean, but, but boxing is one of those things where I've seen Floyd work with young kids at the gym, you know, and, and he really did enjoy passing on that knowledge that he he had passed on to himself. So, so I think he really does have that gift. The biggest question is, can you convey what you know to other fighters, you know? And and I think the, the beauty for Floyd is he's got the attention of anyone he wants to speak boxing with. So I think that's a very positive thing for him but I don't think that he can fight and train at the same time. So so you're right, he will have to commit at some point, but, but Floyd is the type of guy, he's a special talent, he, he can step into the ring tomorrow and generate hundreds of millions of dollars, and that's why I think that he will eventually become a trainer, although I don't think that's something that he ever envisioned for himself until his uncle uh, Roger passed away, where he said, you know what, he taught me a lot and I want to continue his legacy. And, and I, I think that it is heartfelt what he's doing, but I, I think he still has another fight or two inside of him. And especially with boxing being where it is right now, uh, the injection economically for the sport with the Floyd Mayweather return would be great whenever we do get up and running. Yeah, listen, he had a rough year, the, the loss of Uncle Roger. The mother of his children passed away. His daughter's in major legal problems. So I think this is a good thing for Floyd Mayweather Jr. to stay active and honestly probably keep his mind on boxing. That's where he's done best. Well, yeah, he's yeah. saying he, he used the quarantine as a time to help 
himself grow as a trainer and to help his family. So maybe this is good, but I still think he wants to fight some of the best because even Lomachenko called him out recently. You think there's a possibility of that happening? Bernie, what do you think? I think Lomachenko is too small. You know, he, even at 135, you know, every time I sit with Vasily and we have a conversation about where he is today, he's like, I'm already giving up a lot of advantages at 135. He's really a natural featherweight, 130 pounder. And when you go to 135, Lomachenko really, you know, they're, the fighters are taller, they're longer. It's just, he's so talented that he can handle that. But I mean, asking him to go in against Floyd Mayweather at 147 plus, I, I think that'd be too much. Obviously, these guys believe they can take on any challenge, but but I don't. I, I think that's just fighting off a little bit more than you can chew for Vasily Lomachenko, who I think will have his hands full uh, with uh, Teofimo Lopez winning if that fight happens. Well, your thoughts, guys. Is Floyd Mayweather up for the task being a trainer? Leave your comments below. Tag a friend. Let's chat about it here on Now or Never. Thanks, Bernie. It's a pleasure.